Good evening, Maricela. Good evening, good evening, Maricela. Good evening, Midday. Good evening, Teacher Lily. How are you? Are you? I'm fine, and you? Good. All right, that's nice. How was your day? Fine. Just fine. All right. That's good. And how are you doing with the platform, Mide? Sí, este, en la 5.11. Okay, great. You're doing pretty well. Allí vamos. Okay, that's nice. Do you have any questions, any doubts? Este, solo en el ejercicio del anterior, del foro, en donde le... Eh, tenía que hacer unas preguntas acerca de qué estaban haciendo. Creo que eran 5.9. 5.9. Ok, we can check. Sí, si no me equivoco. Bueno, vamos a revisar acá. Esta de WH. Okay. Lo que no comprendió es lo que tienen que hacer o, o cuál era la, la duda. Sí. Sí comprendo que, digamos, este, yo tengo que ver las imágenes y hacer otras preguntas acerca de las imágenes. Ok. Lo que no sabía, porque yo trataba de formularlas, por ejemplo, quería formular sobre qué color era la, la, la camisa de, de Hiroshima, para que... Okay. Pero no hallaba... No hallaba este como lograr formularla. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. So that one would be for example like what color 
is Hiroshima's shirt or t-shirt in any case? Shirt. Que la camisa. Camisa, ajá. Uh -huh. Así, en este caso, como estamos mencionando el nombre, utilizamos el apóstrofe S para indicar el posesivo, la camisa de Hiroshima. Oh, entonces tiene que ir a... Yo ponía Hiroshima de último. Ah, no, en ese cuando... caso es al revés. Va el nombre primero y luego el, la cosa de la que estamos hablando. Oh, como cuando uno habla en español. Oh, yeah. Decimos la camisa de... Exacto, uh -huh. it's different. Entonces, Oh, y siempre es así. Siempre. Siempre. Por ejemplo, oh. acá podríamos cambiar a Hiroshima's car, el carro de Hiroshima, pero siempre va en, en sentido opuesto, por así decirlo, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. acá primero digo eh, Hiroshima's shirt. Entonces, digamos que lo ponemos al revés, ¿verdad? La camisa de Hiroshima, decimos en español. Entonces, hay que tener eso. Ajá, porque... Porque yo, por ejemplo, decía, ¿de? ¿Cómo le pongo el de? Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces el apóstrofe es el de, digamos, que es de él, ¿verdad? El apóstrofe es, exacto. Así es. Oh, ya. Yeah. Ok. Ah, pues sí, hoy sí la voy a hacer. <risa> Gracias, okay. teacher. No problem. Good evening, Maricela. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. I'm glad to see you. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Bastante bien. Sí. Okay. Very good. In the platform, have you been working in the exercises? Mm. Sí, este, por la lesson four. Ok, you're in lesson four. All right, that's good. ¿Alguna consulta? ¿O oh, está todo claro? Mm, por el momento, eh, hasta donde voy creo que está claro. No sé, okay. más adelante. Ok, sí, Ajá. cuando me necesite, ahí estamos. Escríbame en el chat o igual acá en las sesiones, cualquier consultita, aquí estamos. Estaba viendo que hasta el 19 tengo para terminar hasta la lección 5, así es. Mm, hasta el 19 o me he no. confundido sí, déjenme revisar las fechas, a ver, ahora estamos en la tercera semana, entonces deberíamos estar para hoy o a más tardar mañana terminando la sección número 4 como mínimo y luego Ajá, la 4, en la 4 el... voy ok, terminamos el curso el 10 de, de diciembre, la próxima semana el próximo jueves sería el el, sería la última sesión, entonces hasta ese día tienen para completar el trabajo en plataforma. Creo que en la plataforma dice otra fecha, 19 me dice, ¿verdad? Sí, 19 me pareció sí. que vi para la sección, la lesión 5, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Hasta ahí tenemos que terminar. En, exacto, la, la ah, bueno. section 5, incluyendo el final test. Eso sería uh -huh. todo el trabajo. Hay que tener en cuenta que la plataforma siempre nos muestra una fecha diferente de, de finalización. Esto es por cuestiones administrativas, ¿verdad? Que luego tienen que revisar ahí las notas, el trabajo y todo eso. Entonces, por eso es que se deja de esa forma. Pero en realidad el curso lo terminamos el 10 de diciembre. Entonces, bueno, hasta ese día a medianoche cerramos con todo el, el trabajo, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Okay, good evening, Paola. Hola, buenas noches. How are you? Fine. <laughs> Okay, great. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? ¿Me escucha? No, ahora sí le escucho, pero no le escuché la, la respuesta. 
<risa> Perdón, es que tengo problemas quizás con mi internet. Oh, okay. Decía que bien, que bien, gracias a Dios. Qué bueno, me alegra. ¿Cómo va con la plataforma, Paola? Eh, bien, ahorita voy por el 5.3. Ok, great. Muy bien. Uh -huh. All right, so keep on working. <risa> Good evening, Carlota. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good. Okay, that's nice. And how was your day? Pues, estuvo bien. All right. And what can you tell me about the platform? Have you been working in there? Eh, no, no he avanzado, sinceramente aún voy por la 4.7 creo, o 6. Ok, ya estamos en la 4, entonces solamente necesitamos cumplir esta semana el objetivo de, la, de finalizar la sección 4 completa. Ok, sí, sí, así sí. que a seguir es trabajando. Es. Perfecto. All right, nice. Ok. So I think we're ready to start with a class. So let's see what we, what we got for today's class. So first of all, welcome everybody. And we are going to start by going to the platform. Over here, we are going to listen to this. Uh, well, we are going to watch this video. And we are going to learn about the weather in the seasons around the world. So I need you to pay attention, please. It's raining. It's hot and humid. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons. And you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to... Okay, so let's take a look at the seasons and the weather. So first of all, we got four different seasons. Do you know which ones we have? What are the seasons? ¿Cuáles serían las estaciones que tenemos? Any ideas? So we got this. First of all, we have spring, summer, fall, and winter. Those are the four seasons. Las estaciones que tenemos son estas cuatro. Spring, primavera, summer, verano, fall, otoño, and winter, invierno, okay? So I need you to repeat, please. Spring. 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 Summer. 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 Fall. 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 Winter. 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 Okay, what season are we in here in El Salvador? ¿En qué estación estamos acá en El Salvador en este momento? Winter. Is it spring, summer, winter, right? We are in winter. Okay, then we have the kinds of weather, los distintos tipos de clima. Recuérdense, tenemos cuatro estaciones, que son las que acabamos de, de mencionar. Luego tenemos distintos tipos de clima. For example, warm, warm weather, eh, clima caliente, like, eh, similar to hot. Then we have it's very sunny, muy soleado. We got raining. That is um, lloviendo, lluvioso. 
then we have it's hot and humid. Caliente y húmedo. We got it's cool. Cool que sería eh, medio frío, okay? Um, como fresco. And then we have it's cloudy and windy. Cloudy, nublado, windy, um, con viento. viento. And then we have snowing, which we do not have in El Salvador. Nieve, que no tenemos acá en El Salvador. And very cold, muy frío. So please repeat. Warm. Warm. Very sunny. Very sunny. Very sunny. Raining. 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 Hot and humid. Hot and, and humid. Human. Cool. 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 Cloudy. 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 Windy. 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 Snowing. 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 With that S it's at snowing. the beginning. Snowing. Okay. And it's then snowing. we have cold. Cold. Okay. And then oh. let me mention over here the kind of weather would be rainy. Acá tenemos Rain. Rain. It's raining. Porque estamos diciendo que está lloviendo, pero en realidad el tipo de clima lo llamamos rainy. It's rainy. Los lugares donde llueve mucho son rainy places. It's rainy. And then uh, the same happens to snowy. Oops, okay. color. The same happens to snowy. We say it's snowy. Acá el tipo de clima igual sería snowy. Cuando decimos it's snowing es porque está nevando en ese momento cuando lo estamos diciendo. Ok, so now let's listen to a conversation and we are going to practice it afterwards. So pay attention. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Mayor. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay, so we have a conversation between Pat and Julie. They're having trouble with the weather, right? So please take a look at the conversation and tell me if you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation. Any questions? Matter. Matter. Over here, what's uh -huh. the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema? ¿O qué pasa? What's the matter? Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No more. Okay, I need you to repeat. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's the matter? What's the matter? It's snowing. It's snowing. And it's very cold. And it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? Are you Are wearing you your gloves? gloves? No, they're they're at home. No, uh, they're at they home. home. Well, well, you're wearing your coat. You're, you're wearing, wearing, your, wearing coat. your coat. But my coat isn't warm. But, but my, my coat, coat is warm. warm. And I'm not wearing boots. And, and I am not wearing, wearing boots. boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Okay, okay let's take, let's take a, taxi. a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Okay.
Okay, so now let me ask Paola and Carlota, can you help me to read the conversation, please? Cualquiera que empiece. Yeah, you can start. Oh no. What the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't worn. And I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's pay, let's pay a taxi. Thanks, Julie. All right, thank you, girls. Please repeat, boots. Books. 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 No, this one. Books. 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 All right. So they sound. La diferencia. Different. Yeah, we got book and boots. Aha. Uh -huh. Book. Book with that k at the end. Book. And boots. 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 Repeat, please. Book. 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 Boots. Book. Boots. 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 Very good. Okay. Also say let's. 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 All right. So now let me ask Enrique and Karina Elizabeth to read the conversation, please. Let's see. Enrique, you can start. Hola. Can you help me to read? Finish. Yeah. What happened? Karina yeah. Elizabeth, are you there? Maybe not. Okay, let me ask another person. Mide, can you read together with Enrique? Okay. Um, comienzo. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no. No, no. What? What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? 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 No, they're at home. Well, you're wear, wearing your clothes? But my coat is war uh, and I not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. All right, thank you, Enrique and Mide. So please repeat gloves. 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 Coat. Oh. Boots. 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 Okay, very well. So now let's take a look at the next topic we have. So let me tell you, by the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. As you saw in there, it's snowing. Right, that is the present continuous. So in order to manage the present continuous, we must first know what the verbs in ING are. So we got different rules for making ING verbs. Para pasar los verbos a la forma ING, tenemos distintas reglas. The first one is the general rule that is add ING. A la mayoría de verbos solamente les agregamos el ING. For example, in work, which becomes working, build, building, go, going, do, doing. Then we got another kind of verbs, which is the verbs ending in E. With those ones, we have to drop the E and add ING. Para los verbos que terminan en E, tenemos que eliminar la E o quitar la E 
y luego agregar el ing. Por ejemplo, acá, live becomes living, use becomes using, write, writing, move, moving. Acá, si se fija, hemos quitado la e, solo hemos agregado el ing, de igual forma con use, quitamos la e, agregamos ing y luego tenemos using. Lo mismo sucede con write y con move. The next rule would be um, for verbs ending in IE. We change that IE to Y and then we add ING. Para el caso de los verbos que terminan en IE, tenemos que cambiar esa IE por una Y. For Y, for example, in lie, then it becomes lying, die, dying, tie, tying. De este tipo no hay muchos verbos, sin embargo, hay que tener en cuenta que siempre debe hacerse ese cambio cuando se utilice. Then the last rule says that um, for one syllable CVC, consonant, vowel, consonant words, we double the last consonant and then we add ing. También para las palabras de una sola sílaba que van en este orden de consonante, vocal, consonante, como acá, sit, consonante, vocal, i, consonante, t. Vamos a agregar o vamos a, um, how do you say double in Spanish? Well, we're going to double the last consonant. Vamos a agregar una consonante, la última consonante la vamos a hacer doble y luego agregamos el ing. We got um, sit, sitting, get, getting, plan, planning. So please, everybody repeat. Work, working. Work, work working. working. Build, building. Build, building. Go, going. Go, going. Go, going. Do, doing. Do, do, doing. doing. Live, living. Live, live living. living. Use, using. Use, 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 using. Write, writing. Write, write writing. 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 Right. Move, moving. Move, moving. moving. Lie, lying. Lie, lying. Die, dying. Die, dying. Tie, tying. Tie, tying. Sit, sitting. Sit, sitting. Get, getting. Get, getting. Plan, planning. Plan, planning. planning. Okay, are we clear about this? ¿Quedan claras las reglas? Sí. Okay. All right, so here we have some other verbs. We are going to try to just write the ING forms in the chat. A ver, todos abrimos por favor el chat. Vamos a utilizarlo. Voy a ir asignando un verbo a cada uno y lo vamos escribiendo en el chat en la forma de ING. Hay que tomar en cuenta los que, eh, los que cambian, ¿verdad? Los que terminan en E, hay que quitarle la E. Los que van como consonant, vowel, consonant, you double the last consonant. And so on. So remember about the rules. Let's see the first one, mi day. Type it, please. Lo escribe y lo envía en el chat. Swimming, okay, just let me tell you that swimming takes double M, okay? Swimming takes double M. Next one, Enrique, it's your turn. Play. Maricela, you help me with the next one. 
Let me see. That would be what, Maricela? Okay. Very good, Enrique. We got playing. Next one is for Paola. Read. And Carlota, yours is dance. Karina Elizabeth, your verb is listen. Very good, Maricela. We got watching. Carlota says dancing, very good. And for read, we have reading, that's right, Paola. And Karina, okay, let me just write it. It's listening. Okay, again, Carlota, please make it, uh, make paint an ING. Let's see, Paola, this one's for you. Make. Maricela, yours is ride. Enrique, learn. And Mide, yours is buy. Very good, Carlota says painting, okay. We got painting, then we got making, that's right, Paola. For write, we have writing. For learn, we got, that's right, Enrique, learning. And for buy, we got buying. Okay, next one is clean. That one is for Mide. Enrique, take care of study. Maricela, yours is have. Paola, sleep. Carlota, make. And. No, me quiero, teacher. No. Oh, oh wait. Wait. Sí, es que tengo aquí el abierto, por eso no veo. Oh. Okay. But you can Perdón. move it. Si tiene el chat ahí le aparece en una parte donde no le donde no le deja ver, lo puede mover. Solo le da clic y lo arrastra. Ahorita me di cuenta de eso, perdón. Okay. Este, ¿cuál era el mío, perdón? Um, let's see. Mi day, yours is clean. Then Enrique's okay. is study. Then okay. We got it. So Paola says sleeping. Okay, very good. Maricela says having. Okay. And the others. Mide says cleaning. Okay, very good. And for study, what do, do we have? Okay, for make, we got making. Lo escribió bien, Enrique, así va. Solo le agregamos el ING, studying. You're right. El cambio se hace con las palabras que terminan en IE, como lie or die. Eso sí cambian. En el caso de las palabras que terminan en Y, no hay ningún problema. Solo agrego el ING, ¿ok? Gracias. All right. Then we got other two words. Those are drive, which becomes driving. And we have walk, walking. Ok. So I need you to repeat after me. Swimming. Swimming. Playing. 
Playing. Playing. Watching. Watching. Reading. Reading. Dancing. 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 Listening. 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 Painting. 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 Making. Making. Writing. 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 Learning. 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 Buying. Buying. Cleaning. 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 Studying. 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 Having. 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 Sleeping. 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 Making. 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 Driving. 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 Walking. 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 Okay, are we clear about all those verbs? Tenemos alguna consulta con respecto a los verbos? No questions. Okay, so let's continue by talking about the present continuous. So when do we use the present continuous? We use it to talk about actions that are happening now at the moment of speaking. El present continuous se utiliza para hablar de cosas que están sucediendo en este momento. For example, when I say I'm talking to you, yo estoy hablando con ustedes, I'm talking to you. And you are listening to me. You are listening to me. Ustedes me están escuchando. So the structure we follow is this one. We got first a subject, then the verb be, then the verbs in ing, and then we need a complement in the period. Let's make some examples. Acá es importante recordar que utilizamos el verb be, entonces va a cambiar dependiendo del sujeto. Siempre utilizamos el I am, you are, he is, she is, y así lo vamos cambiando dependiendo del sujeto que tengamos. So let's write down some examples. I'm talking to you. Let's say the students are listening to the teacher. Any other example? A ver, ayúdenme con otro ejemplo. You seen any verb? I am reading right now. I'm reading right now, okay. I'm reading right now. Okay, any other example? Let's make one using you. You. You are. Let's see. You are speaking. You are speaking English, let's say. Mm -hmm. You are speaking English. English, English. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes. Okay, let's say they are um, doing their homework. Okay, let's make one using she. She is buying some popcorn. So that is the way you make sentences using the present continuous. So remember, you use the subject and the verb be, and then the verb in ing. Siempre debemos utilizar el sujeto, luego el verb to be, que va a cambiar siempre en las formas am, is, or are, dependiendo del sujeto. Y luego agregamos el verbo en ing. Are we clear about this? Do we have any questions? ¿Tenemos alguna consulta? No. No. Okay, so let's do something. Let me send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes. I want you to make sentences using the present continuous. 
los voy a mandar a los grupos pequeños para que trabajemos con los compañeros haciendo oraciones. Voy a enviar también en el chat de WhatsApp una foto con los verbos que tenemos acá en esta diapositiva para que puedan utilizarlos. Ahí van escogiendo algunos verbos, van haciendo algunas oraciones. ¿Es that ok? Yes. Ok, perfecto. There you go. Pero ya cayó, ah, ¿verdad? Sí, ya, ya, ya lo mandó. Ya lo mandó. Uh -huh. Es Win, ajá. Ah, pero ya los puso con, con el ING. Mejor. No. ¿Sí? Nosotros lo hicimos, sí. Ajá, o sea, ya está. O sea, que los mismos que hicimos o los que ha puesto, entonces hay que hacer las oraciones. Sí, sí, de esas mismas oraciones. Si gustan, vamos una por una. Uh -huh. Ok. Este. I am swimming right now. I am swimming, you say. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm swimming. Ajá, uh -huh. I'm, sw I'm swimming. Es Gwyn, dije, yes, swimming. Swimming, ajá. Uh -huh. That's how we pronounce it. Yo había hecho, you, you driving at home, será que se puede. You're, can you repeat it? You driving at You're home. Dreaming, como de soñar o. Driving, driving, perdón. Oh, driving, you're driving home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you could say that. You're driving home. That's a good example. Es your or you? Your or you are. Si lo usa en la forma contractada, your, si lo quiere poner completo, you are driving. Driving. A home. Ajá. Uh -huh. Driving home. I play you in basketball. Great. I am, sería, I am playing basketball, ¿verdad? Exactly, I am playing basketball. I am playing, ajá. Uh -huh. Y esta estará, estará bien. I am clean, cleaning at home. I am cleaning at home. Yes, that's right. Estoy limpiando en casa. Ajá. Uh -huh. Because if you want to say I'm cleaning my house, for instance, estoy limpiando mi casa, you could say too. Cualquiera de las dos puede Entonces, utilizar. Ver, pero digamos, se, se escucharía mejor my. Yeah, my house. Estoy limpiando mi casa. Uh -huh. Ok. Y si <laughs> Diga, diga. Sí, decía, eh, I watch TV, I watch, no, I am watching TV and my eh, sister, se puede. My sister and I are watching TV. ¿Por qué al revés? <ríe> es como en español, siempre que incluimos otra persona debemos mencionarla primero y luego me incluyo yo, ¿verdad? My sister ah, and my, I. Ah, my sister and I. I are watch, watching TV. Exactly. Así. Yes, my oh, sister my. and I are watching TV. Y, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, you are sleep, sleeping uh, a bus, pero ¿cómo, cómo le You are le sleeping para... on the bus. Te estás oh. durmiendo en el bus, ¿cierto? Ajá. Yeah, you're sleeping on the bus. On the bus. 
Mm -hmm. Is he is is sleeping at two o'clock? Yes, that's okay. Y si le hubiera puesto you, tendría que ir you. Exactly. You're sleeping at two o'clock. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuántas tenemos que hacer? Todas. As many as you can. Todas las que pueda. I'm back. So, uh, I'm going to leave right now. Let me check the other group. Voy a irme en este momento para eh, ver cómo van los del otro grupo, ¿ok? Ok. Bye. Hi, Enrique and Paola. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. ¿Cuántas oraciones son? Disculpe. Eh, todas las que puedan hacer. No sé ah. cómo vamos. ¿Tienen alguna consultita? De cómo, podría, ¿Cómo podría poner voy en, en ellos? Sería we, ¿Perdón? Dígame. Sería we, we are, we, no, solo que no encuentro. We no are qué. buying chocolate. We are buying a cell phone. We are buying some soda. We are buying pizza. Just think about something yes, you can yes. buy. Any other questions? Tenemos más preguntas. ¿Cómo mm -hmm. se cambiaba write? Write writing. Se le quita la e y se agrega ing. Ah, oh, ya. Yeah. Ah, sí. <laughs> es que estaba confundida porque pensaba, me había confundido, había visto que terminaba en ie. <laughs> oh, no. It's only e. Gracias. Ok. Este, yo tengo un problema con este, el knowledge check que está después de esta. ¿Qué sección sería? De la 4.13, creo, el último. El último de la sí, lección 4. De la 4. Ajá, ajá las, es que... Questions. Ajá, es que en el primero yo he intentado, um, o sea, en varios, varias opciones, este, por, pero no me lo acepta. No sé si... Hmm. Porque pregunta si es la chaqueta verde, ¿no? Y yo le puse que en verde, claro. Entonces yo le puse no y no me lo, o sea, no lo agarra. No, no sé cuál sería ahí la. Ok, let me check. Permíteme, ahorita reviso. Bye. En la primera dice, is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Y quiero ver, tenemos Bruce. Mm -hmm. So the answer would be yes, he is. Tendríamos que escribir yes, he is. Aquí. Is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Ya escribí yes. Bruce over y, here. Y no me la agarra. Probablemente fue problema de alguna cuestión de uh -huh. puntuación, tal vez algún espacio o alguna coma, un punto que le faltaba, podría ser. Porque sí debería aceptar esa respuesta. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Uh -huh. Try again. Intente de nuevo. Sí, así lo puse. 
Voy a intentar ahorita. Eh, otra cosa que hay que tomar en cuenta es que está en, en forma completa. He is. No se puede poner solo he is. Eso no, no sería correcto. Ajá. No, no me lo agarra. No me lo agarra. Puse yes, coma, he is. Y no me lo agarra. Uh, can you send me a, a screenshot, please? Tal vez mándeme ahí, por favor, al WhatsApp un screenshot. Lo voy a revisar y a ver qué, qué será lo que pasa. Porque Bye. esa sí es la respuesta. No sé por qué no se la tomará en cuenta. Ok, so we're going back to the class right Absolutely. now. Vamos a volver entonces en este momento a la clase. Ok. All right, now that we have been practicing, and we're going to just work by making some other sentences in the present continuous. Here I have some information. For example, in the first one, it says, I and wash the dishes. We're going to make sentences. So how do we make a sentence using that information? ¿Cómo sería la oración utilizando esta información que le estoy dando? El sujeto I y eh, la acción wash the dishes. So we say. I am washing the dishes. I'm washing the dishes or I am washing the dishes. You are right. So we got I am washing the dishes. Or you could also use the contracted form. I'm washing the dishes. Okay, next one, midday. Help me, please. Okay. Number two, we do the homework. Uh, we are mm -hmm. doing. Doing the home home worker, ¿cómo? Homework, homework, okay. Home, home homework. Very good. We are doing the homework. Excellent. Next one, Enrique. Sí. Solo que no sé cómo se pronuncia. Take, take. Talking, talking. Eh, sería chill. She is talking on the phone. She's talking on the phone. Very good, Enrique. Let me just write this. We are doing the homework. And the next one is she is talking on the phone. As Enrique said. Okay, next one, Carlota. Carlota Ruiz. Writing a poem. Thank you. You are writing a poem. Okay, our next one. Maricela, number five. He is playing basketball in basketball. All right, excellent. Next one, Paola. Paola. They are do exercising. They are doing exercise. Eso no lo puedo pronunciar. Exercise. Ah, ok. Ah, el verbo. It's doing. Okay. 
Ya, yeah. en este caso podríamos tener dos opciones. Utilizamos eh, la frase do exercise y también se puede utilizar exercise como un verbo. Por ejemplo, podríamos decir uh -huh. they are exercising. También eso sería correcto. O sea que podemos utilizar solo exercise o lo podemos utilizar junto al verbo do. Do exercise. Any of those. Ok. Thanks, Paola. Number seven. It eats its food. Can somebody make the sentence, please? Un voluntario que haga la oración. It is its food. Eating for its food. Very good. It is eating its Pronuncialo, food. Pronuncialo, por favor. Uh -huh. Sure. It is eating it, its it, food. It is eating its food. Muy bien. Thank you, Maricela. Next one says, they buy some fruits and vegetables. Make a sentence, please. Anybody? They are buying some fruits and vegetables. They're buying some fruits and vegetables. Very good. Okay, I think we have another one. This one, it rain. It is raining. It is raining, that's right. And the last one says, we travel to New York. We are traveling to New York. We are traveling, traveling to New York. Mm -hmm. We are traveling to New York. Okay, perfect. So now please repeat after me. I am washing the dishes. I am watching the dishes. The dishes. We are doing the homework. We are doing the homework. She is talking on the phone. She is talking on the phone. You are writing a poem. You are writing a poem. He is playing basketball. He is playing basketball. They are doing exercise. They are doing exercise. It is eating its food. It is eating its food. They are buying some fruits and vegetables. They are fruits and vegetables. It is raining. It is raining. We are traveling to New York. We are traveling to New York. Okay, so we are done with today's class. Let me just tell you and remind you about the platform. So by now we are in this lesson about the present continuous. Ya estamos en esta última lección de la section number four. Así que esta semana, bueno, más tardar mañana, por favor, Deberíamos haber completado todos estos ejercicios de la sección número 4 como mínimo. Si no lo ha hecho, por favor, le pido que eh, trabajemos entre hoy y mañana para completar toda esa sección, ya que la otra semana nos quedaríamos nada más completando eh, la sección número 5. Y recordar, como les dije al inicio, vamos a terminar nuestro curso del principiante 1 el 10 de diciembre. Así es que nos queda una sola semana. Y recordemos igual que mañana no tendríamos clase, ¿verdad? So just keep on working in the platform. Keep on practicing. See you on Monday. Take care. Have a good weekend. Good weekend. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.